can't wait for Kai Havertz in the Champions League. Can I, can Someone's I, can comparing Kai Havertz to Van Persie on the TL that really. That was crazy. Let's have some respect. No, no, I saw that and that was crazy. Let's have respect. You see what you said just now? Yeah. About how Yo guys, welcome back to another video from The Final Whistle. But before we get into it, be sure to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know exactly when we upload. But as you can tell, we've got a special guest with us. So yes, firstly, we do. thank you, my bro, NTX. Thank you for pulling up. No worries, bro. No worries. As you can tell by the title of this video, do you know what? It's, it's, it's something kind of hard for me to admit. Obviously, we just, you know, recently won against Crystal Palace 5-0. Mm. You know what I mean? Um, but before that, our form was about kind of dipping. It was mix and match. You didn't really know what you were going to get. So the question I want to ask you guys is, do you think... I'm going to start with you, NCX first, right. and then, Raf, you can answer. But do you think Arsenal can still win the title with this inconsistent form? No way. I think... I, I honestly think, yeah, we're going to win champs before we win <laughs> Bro, we have more like we're more likely to win. Champs. No, no, let him land. Wait. No, 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 Let him land. Bro, you can't no, come no. on the show. <laughs> and the first land. sentence you say is Arsenal are likely to win the Champions League. Bro, more than nah. Wait, let, let wait, him, wait, let him nah, land. Nah, nah, nah. Wait, wait, let him go on, go on, it's land. It's all about. Listen, we're, we're uh, you know equal between. Bro, is it okay? Calm. Fair enough. Democracy. Let's let him land. We know the league's harder to win than the champs, yeah. Okay. That shouldn't be that mad. Mm -hmm. oh. When I look at teams in champs, yeah, I'm only really worried about Bayern. I think Bayern is my main worry because I can see Kane at, at the Superfly Emirates coming there, penalty, doing something oh, funny. Yeah. I, I'm not looking... That's, yeah, that's I, not... If, if, if that happens, like if we do draw Bayern Munich, it's going to be a very... Ugh, Kane back in London. Mm. They're going to do the whole script stuff and yeah. the guy's going to try and get one stupid penalty. Scoring do all of that sort of that's stuff I'm the, not ready for by that by the way man. that's the worst celebration of all time you know for a signature celebration yeah it could be better it definitely could be better no yeah. bro like your striker that's done 280 goals you need to be a bit more creative you know what I'm saying <laughs> you know what it is? I think I, I, I hear what you mean in terms of like it's it's more difficult to win the I, well, I, I think this as well to be honest I think it is more difficult to win the Prem over a stretch of 38 than it is the Champions League because the Champions League you get the second leg straight after do you know what I mean it's not like if all the games mm -hmm. in the league were played like that where for example um, when we beat City, the next week we have to mm. play them again, mm. and then that's it for the rest of the season. It's that would make it probably a bit more difficult. But with the Champions League, it's essentially luck up until the quarterfinals. Quarterfinals is when Oops. you're like, this is the business end of it, and you know if you win here, you're gonna face these guys, and then you're gonna meet. So you're lucky to still be oh, in wait. the Champions League now, bro. Wait, no, that's what you're saying. Who, uh, uh, who do you that's... think? Name me like five teams you think can win champs. Yeah. Okay. Cool. City. Okay. Bayern, mm -hmm. um, Madrid, okay, Real Madrid, um, and then Arsenal. Yeah, so we're, we're, we're in, we're, so we're, we're we're in like. Well, in, give me other teams that are still in it right they're now. Still, they're still into Milan, AC Milan, but, PSG. See, I can't lie. No, no, no. I take what I, what I said back. Who? I put all of the teams you just meant. I put into Milan. And AC oh, Milan, chill out. AC Milan, and Dortmund chill is more likely. Yeah, yeah. Let's, 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 let's no, no, no. Let's, and I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. It's on. not always about the quality of the squad, mm -hmm. right? And you mentioned something about Champions League, which is that there's an element of luck into it, yeah. which is true because it's two games. You need to be good for both of those games, mm -hmm. otherwise you're out. One thing about Arsenal is that you're, they're not men. They're not men. They're Can bottomless. I ask you a question? And you did this last Can I ask season. You a question, though? Uh, no, bro, do you think? Do you think? Yeah, into Milan, AC Milan, bro. Mm. What, what's some of the other teams? Real Madrid. Do you yeah. really think like this Arsenal squad, bear in mind, remember how it's structured? Rice, Gabriel Saliba, da 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 da. Strong defence, strong attack, da 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 da. Strong and attack. Two, over two okay. legs, do you think they come to the carpet, do something, you know, and then we don't do something? You know, the, 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 only, the, only, the only team I can say out of those ones that you said I can see us like falling short against is Madrid. That's Madrid, that, you would lose I'm, to. No, no, you would, no, 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 Madrid, Madrid, you don't start, Yeah, Madrid, I agree. Madrid is the only one I can like. Madrid and but Bayern are the only. don't agree, bro. No, bro. Link me at the burnabout, bro. <laughs> nah, <laughs> nah, 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 nah. Before nah, City, nah. before City, who's the only team that's gone burnabout? And one. It is won. Arsenal, to be fair. Okay. It is Arsenal. Did you not see Henri oh. taking it corner flag? Oh, you're talking about Henri days. Henri yeah. is a man. No, but bro, okay, that okay. was a team of men. But bro, the Arsenal team right now. Who? Okay, who's your striker that's gonna score like Henri did? 
Okay, so Jesus in the Champions you League. You hit me where it hurts. No, let's talk about Jesus it. Let's talk about it. Jesus in the Champions League. Is oh, a come different on, man. Let's Jesus grow up, man. Bro. Bro. Let's grow up. Okay, let's okay, grow okay. up. Okay. In Ketia at knockouts, bro. It's going to be. Nah, <laughs> nah, 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 nah. Now you're just taking a piss. Now you're just taking a piss. Let's get back to the Premier League. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I don't want to. Listen, the Champions League knockout hasn't even started yet. But I want to say, because obviously that win against Crystal Palace is. Is kind of what we would expect from Arsenal. Yeah, I'm, I didn't expect five. I probably I expected three, three one, maybe three nil. Okay. But the way that we were able to control the game, obviously the first half was a bit slow, and then we got started. Second yeah. half, it was all us, and we've kind of been used to seeing that type of Arsenal performance in terms of last season and definitely early on in this season. Yeah. So do you think we can potentially still do it? No. I think I think no, but that's but to me it's not even like a big shock because at the start of the season I was saying you can't do it anyway. Mm. Actually, even last yeah, year, yeah, the throughout the whole out. season, I said you guys can't do it, and it goes back to my same point. Arsenal, are, you're a bunch of boys. Now they're good players in your squad, yeah. But they, you guys are not gonna win the title right now and anytime soon. I'm telling you, there's still anytime another, soon? there's still another two, three years before oh, Arsenal can actually win the title. Uh, you know how you said. You know, I, well, I agree with you for this season. This yeah, season, this, this season I hear. And but when you're talking about in the coming seasons, who's gonna win? All right, let's say like, let's say, can we say like five? You think we won't win the next five leagues? Yeah, I didn't say that. I said, two or, three. Three. Oh, said two, two or three. Oh, next two or three. three. I said okay. two or three. Mm. Fine, two or three. So who's winning the next two or three over us? Now remember, you still That's got City there, right? Okay, they are. This season, yes, they didn't start off well, mm -hmm. but you can see that they had their two best players out. Yeah. But even with their two best players out, they were still in and around the mix, right? Very then true. you've got Liverpool, okay. who, yes, they had a couple of seasons off. But since then, and if you look at them this season, they're mm -hmm. probably second most likely to win the league after City. And right now, they're top of the league. And then you have Man United will be in and around the mix, right? <laughs> no, no, right, no, right, right, no, right, 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 right. Man United no, no, will no, be no, in no, and around, no. right? And Chelsea are bound to bounce back at some stage as well. And oh. Arsenal, you like football never works in a way in which your trajectory is just like this and you're going up and you progress every year. Which is true. So but, you guys will dip as okay, well. No, but, but bro. I, do you know, just before you say bro. something, yeah? You, what you said right there is perfect because you said your trajectory doesn't just go like this. Yep. And if you think about before last season, you'd say that our seasons were like kind of like this and then last season was that. Yeah. Because no one expected that. that yeah, it's is, an outlier. It's, it, yeah, it's an outlier that could potentially set the trend for the next two to three mm, years. I don't know. It can. I don't know because... People, people were saying that about United at the time. And do you know this? I'm, I'm bringing this back to United only because you mentioned that, oh, you know, United could be in the mix later on. Da, 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 da. As soon as... Alex Ferguson left. Cool. Yeah. You finished eighth with David seventh. Moyes. Okay, seventh yeah, with David Moyes. Right. Yeah? yeah. Cool. That was like, ooh, that's the outlier. Yeah. Next year they're gonna bounce back when you guys got Van Gaal, and then it's like you're sort of not there in the mix. You kind of yes. You but we got taken, better, right? Huh? We got better though. It, oh yeah, yeah. Your your league position got better, but yeah. it was still like compared to what we were seeing for United over the last four or five years. It's like one year you're not in the title race. Yeah. Or maybe you are, but you fall off kind of towards like March, April. Yeah. And then next season you win it. And then you win it again next season. And then maybe you don't for the next two years. Mm. But like I said, that year after even David Moyes is seen as an anomaly. But then that set the trend for the next five, six years. Because since then, the closest you've been is when Mourinho finished second. And even then it was like, what, a 14 point gap or something ridiculous? Okay. So that's what I'm saying in terms of outliers and setting trends. I know the project, mm. the trajectory doesn't just go like that, but these little bumps in a row could potentially set the, set the pace for the next three years. Also, you see with Arsenal, yeah? At this point already, we have top five winger in the world, yeah? Can we agree? Well, Saka, I, I, Saka I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to agree with that. I don't know if I'm going to agree with that. Hold on. I think you'll be fifth. I think you'll be fifth. Nah, 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 nah. No, I don't even want to have this debate today, I think you'll know? be fifth. Fair I don't even want to do this. I'm going to talk Vinicius. I'm outnumbered as well. Vinicius, Leal. Leal's not better than Saka. Sorry. He's not better than Saka. He's not better than Saka. So who are we putting against? Who are we putting? All right, bro. How is Saka not a top five wing in the world? Bro, you've got... I put Gnabry above him. I put Sane above him. I put Vinicius Jr. above him. Okay. I put Rodrigo above him. That's four already. Let me you think. You There's more. There's more. There's more. Mo look, Salah look, look, look is there. Salah in the back. Mo Salah <laughs> is there. No, so that's five wingers. I can't lie to you. I don't think... Minimum. I, I don't think Nabri is better than Nabry's Saka right Saka now. Saka I'll be so honest with you. And Nabri's not even playing. Be real. If you're an Arsenal fan, yeah? Deep in your heart, yeah? 
Would you take Nabri over Saka? Like, yes, in your would, team right now. I'll take him right now. Swap. I'll take him right now. You guys won five 0 against Crystal Palace today. How many assists? How many goals did Salah did Saka get? He got one assist. Did he for the corner? Are you sure? He oh, did. from a corner. Yeah. Okay, calm. It's a set piece. Today, five so. goals. Yes, calm. Good. What well, are you gonna try to start? No, I'm saying that's great. You, that's great. Slandering people like Ward Prowse or whatever because they get assists from the right. corners. Right. And oh, we're comparing Saka to Ward Prowse now. No, but I'm right, saying set piece because I get it. It's calm. Anyways, but 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 bro, back to what I was saying. Yeah. Alright, cool. Agree or disagree? Top five wingers. Alright, cool. Even if we disagree, do you think he'll be in there? Let's say like when Nabri and stuff is getting two years. Let's say two years from now. What in the future? Yeah, I let's don't say know. two we'll years see. from now. Okay. Just cool. I think, but bro, he didn't. He didn't get an assist. Oh no, because I knew no, he didn't bro, get an assist. No, 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 I checked no, no, it. No, 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 I knew. No, 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 thank no, no, you, bro. I'm not, no, no, just, I, I, was, I was watching. I was, I was, I was watching the match, and because he took the corner. Gabriel scored, but he did it. So you lied, you lied, you lied, you lied, you lied, you lied, you lied. I just kind of. You lied. Have oh, shame, say sorry. <laughs> regardless of the stats, though. Yeah, right, go ahead. Well, let's say we got Saka, Martinelli, who are two people that can be poised to be in them top 10, top 5 conversations, yeah? Yeah. Facts, yeah? Facts. Then we've got Erdegaard, who will probably be <laughs> top 5 midfielders in the world. He has the potential to be. Stop this, man. Saliba, Saliba that's, stop well, he has this, the potential bro. to be, doesn't yeah. he? Yeah, that's facts. No, Saliba, best centre back in the world right now. Okay, cut. So with this spine, this is just our spine, yeah? And and bear in mind we got, got Rice as you well. You got Declan Rice exactly at DM. You got Gabriel bro. to partner Sal- Saliba in the back. I like, think, mm. bro. I think our spine alone should show you that we're gonna win the league in the next two to three years over a certain man. Because, bro, first of all, I think there could be a debate whether Pep's even there in three years. That's could, true. No, no, could, no, it's true. There could be a debate whether Klopp's even there in three years, and also the. But there's spine. no debate about whether Arteta's gonna be there in three years. No, that is that's I'd, also that's also there's cool. no debate no, no, about but that. he's not in in that part. I would say Arteta is in the part where you know when Klopp first lost his first Champions League final with Liverpool yeah. against Real Madrid. I would say this is that part of Arteta where now he's got his spine just like how Liverpool did where they had their spine of their best wingers. They got the Firmino stuff. That's what we're kind of getting together. And because of our spine and because of our organization and our tactics as a team. Regardless of Arsenal playing bad recently, one thing I think they've shown is that they can play to different styles. Maybe not all of them as well as each other, yeah. but they can play to different styles. And when you get into different seasons where you've got an adapt and these players go from being 22 to 24, 25, mm. they easily have an advantage over players in Man City who their spine is aging a lot. And players okay. in Liverpool and where their spine Yeah, is- but that's brilliant. But the thing about Man City and Liverpool's spine is that when a player gets injured, mm-hmm. as I said earlier, we had two City <clears> players, <throat> their two best players, key players, De Bruyne and Haaland injured. Yeah. Man City was still in and around them. And with is- Arsenal, it's a completely different think, thing. As I soon think- as you guys lose one or two key players, you guys capitulate. What happened and- to City when they lost Rodri? That's very true. But they're still in and around. They Look at, no, whoa, no, look no, at them they- now. No, no, can, can I say one thing? It's, it's very true in terms of like, when we lose one player... Or well, one key player, it mm. shows because, and I'm not gonna lie to you, I think the player that we're missing, and I don't wanna say is like, this is the reason why we were losing and we were in a patchy form. Complain shit. I think it's because of Thomas Partey missing in that midfield. Okay. And the reason I say this here is because whenever you watch Arsenal play, obviously we play out through the back yeah. and then we allow Zinchenko to come into the midfield to, you know, partner either Partey or Rice, whoever's playing that number six. That's how we play. And then from there, we're able to either get um, our wingers up, uh, up more further on the pitch. And it kind of creates like a box in midfield. Yep. So you have like Zinchenko, Partey, and then you have um, whoever's playing number eight. So if Rice is playing or Havertz is playing, and then you have Odegaard in that box, and then you have your wingers out wide for the yep. depth. And the crucialness of Thomas Partey is the fact that he's able to make these pinpoint threaded through passes into the top of that box in the sense where it's either into Rice or into Odegaard and that yep. progresses. And then from then, we have like an overload because it's a 5v4. Yeah. With Rice, and don't get me wrong, this isn't a slight to Rice or anything like that, but it's like that game against Fulham, for example, there were so many passes where I'm like, bro, like, just thread it. Like, I'm used to seeing Thomas Partey thread those balls and Rice hasn't got that yet. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So right now, what I'm saying is, is <laughs> but bro, shall I tell, shall I tell you what I'm, what I'm not missing though? Listen, oh, you, hey, you, 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 get, you get what I'm that, saying, man. don't you? you get what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hear it, I hear it. Because, because Rice isn't able to like dictate the tempo to the same um, style that Thomas Partey is, mm. that's why our attacks are looking lethargic. That's why there's so much more of a focus on... So where bad. is Arteta's solution to the problem then? No, and, and the thing is, I think 
This, no, where is Arteta's listen, solution listen, to listen, the problem? Listen, I'm not Arteta. I'm not his assistant. Right, manager, I can't tell you. Right. But all I say is that I think Arteta kind of relied on Thomas Partey a bit too much this season. In fact, like relied on the fact that he will be present for up until January. Okay. You know what I mean? And it, he, I don't think he really thought that maybe Rice could do the role as well as he thinks he could have. I think he can get there, just not right now, because this is still his first season learning the I system. I don't think so, you know. I don't that from the way that we're looking, I don't think that Party was the player that Arteta was relying on right now that didn't come through. I think our style of play and the lethargicness that you're talking about mm. is more down to the fact that I thought he prepped his whole season around the fact that we would have Jury and <clears throat> Timber there for the whole time. And I yeah. think that slows down things a lot more because if if that's the case that we were going to have party, like, I think all Arsenal fans think that it should be party, Rice, Erdegaard, right? Yeah. But in that case, then why do you buy a £60 million pound Kai Havertz? Listen, it's an... This is why I'm telling you, Arsenal ain't going to do anything because you lot are still doing dumb shit. Kai Havertz is going to ball out. Don't get twisted. Okay, do you know I have I have a bit of faith because the way, like, I remember, I don't know if it was Mike's that was saying it a couple videos ago where he was like, Kai Havertz is like, like, what is he doing there? It makes no. It was when we were doing uh, one of these Premier League recaps, and Kai Havertz. I think it was when he bagged against Brentford. Okay, um, you're not ready for up. Champions League, Kai Havertz, bro. Champions League, Kai Havertz is gonna clean up, bro. Do you know Champions what? <laughs> Kai Havertz is gonna clean up, bro. Maybe who knows? Clip it, man. Clip who it. knows? Clip it. Kai Havertz you know? is gonna be our. Clip tourist, it right now. Bro. You know, Chelsea got Clip Torres. Right they want him the champs. That's gonna be Kai, bro. Are you, do you not? Do you not, not even have shame? Like this is why. I, generally, wait. Like, what do you mean, you lot? No, no. Generally, he's, can you not see he's on the couch by himself? That's him talking. Yeah, about. <laughs> no. But this is this is a fair representative of Arsenal fans in general, and this is why. Honestly, like anytime I hear Arsenal man talk, no offense, but it hurts me. Like because you man, you man think, you man think you are on this level that you're not. What do you mean you can't wait for Kai Havertz? In the Champions League. Someone was comparing Kai Havertz to Van Persie on the TL that video. That was crazy. Let's have some respect. No, no, I saw that and that was crazy. Let's have respect. You see what you said just now? Yeah. About how Arsenal fans think we're da 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 It's like almost, instead of talking into the camera, it's a mirror. Because that's exactly how I feel about United fans. Nah, you nah, guys nah. Like, this is, this, this, look, this video is it's about, about Arsenal. Yeah, alright, fair. You know what I'm saying? Fair, fair, fair. It's about Arsenal. I, I'll, I'll say that for later. So, I'll say that for later. And I've got a question for you, Ron. Talk to me. So going into the second half of the season, how do you see Arsenal... Um, finishing off the season where do you see them finishing and is would that be good enough for you you know what I think I think a big part of it has to do with Jan and mm. and like what we do in the window obviously I hope that we get some sort of nine um, and I actually don't I'm not too fussed about who that nine is you know what I'm saying mm. but as long as it's someone that we can bring on or just play a part to get more goals through the centre even though but even with or without that Bro, I feel we're going for our champs, bro. Champs, that's that's our story. Champions sad, League is our story. Sad, I'm hearing sad. sides here. I'm hearing <laughs> sides. It's sad, man. There's a lot of sides. Sad. Yeah. Where do you where do you think Arsenal will finish? Um I think you finish fourth place and I think fourth. you go no further than the quarterfinals. Who's coming champs. above us for us to be? Do you know, no, no, it's it's we'll mm, don't worry, don't worry. Mm, right, we'll get you think Spurs are coming above us? And they could. No, but are they? Yeah. <sighs> okay, cool. Yeah. Well, yeah. Right. You're standing on that. Yeah, I'm standing on that. Right, See right, how right. That's a bad yeah, hill to die on. You know? No, I'm gonna take yeah, it. Cool. Yeah. That is a bad hill to die on. I think I think we'll finish. I don't think we'll I don't think we'll win the oh, I don't have that much confidence in the fact that we'll win the league anymore. And that's mainly because four games that we've lost, four games is already too much to win the league. Especially with the way that City are. Liverpool have only still lost one game. I think City have either lost three or four games, but City have that X factor in the sense where they've got the best playmaker in the world and arguably the best striker in the world to come back to full fitness. Yeah. And that itself, regardless of how many games you've lost already, once they come back, that can take you up the league. But do you oh. know what? I'm going to I'm gonna pose it to the, to the people to see... Bro, uh, can I ask one question think. though to both of you? Quite right. Bro, obviously, yeah, our team's out of the FA Cup, right? Yeah. And out of Carabao as well. Yeah. Due to whatever. And most of the time, Arsenal... Yeah. Most of the time, <laughs> Arsenal fans compensate that with the fact we're focusing on the league or yeah. whatever. So I'm asking both of you, as a United fan as well, yeah? Would mm. you rather come just fourth, have a good league run and mm -hmm. not win anything or come fifth and have FA Cup? What, what would you guys take? Um, I'm taking fifth in the FA. It depends on the team. No, what? no, for your team. No, for your for team. my team. Yeah. For your team. Right, well, we, we won a cup last season and came third. So right now, I want us to finish in the Champions League again. But no FA? 
Like yeah, I'll take, take that over FA Cup. I'll take that right this That's season. Madness. Yeah, I'll no, take I that. think do you know what it is? I, I don't I don't I don't want to say this with disrespect to the FA Cup because I do like the FA Cup um, and the competitiveness competitiveness of, of it as well. But I think I'd rather finish fourth only because it guarantees you're in the Champions League playing against the best teams in Europe the next season. And that in itself can help you change that fourth to third or fourth to second. Do you know what I mean? Really? All the silver word? No, yeah, no, we've yeah, yeah. 15 times the whole once you yeah, win the know. Once you win the FA Cup, you lift the trophy, you celebrate and it's done. You, you, you know, you're no, over and done. done with. Nah. With, the, with the Champions League space, if you finish fifth, the whole of next season you're playing Europa League. Exactly. That, that's, what, that's what I don't like. And the thing is, mm. even if you finish 15th and you win the FA Cup, you're in the Europa League. Mm. So it's... Well... No, no, because you are. Because when we finish eighth and won the FA Cup, we're in Europa League, and that's that's how it works now. The oh, whoever wins the FA Cup gets like you the Europa League. Touch Conference League, you know. Yeah. Tell me what that's like. I feel like you look. Like touch no, 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 no. <laughs> Conference League, guys. Let us know. Do you think Arsenal still have a chance at winning the league above City? And of course, you are. I believe they're still top of the league. Liverpool. Let us know in the comments below. Uh, don't forget to follow us on Instagram and TikTok and Twitter. Did yes. I say Twitter already? I did. Also, shout out NTX for jumping on uh, the video and being able to thank you. Man, do you want to plug your socials quickly so they know to find you as well? My Instagram's not NTX. Don't come shout at me if you have bad ticks. <laughs> and what do we always say? Tell a friend to tell a friend. Peace.